Sean O'Malley, I've never been in a boring fight. This dude can straight up fight. I knock people out. Oh! And I have cool hair. Pink poodle. I wouldn't say I'm flashy, but I'm flashy. Oh! Welcome to the Sugar Show, everybody! I came and did a sweat test. All right, 159. Oh, 161. 161.8. It's the heaviest I've ever We're doing a lot of different areas of investigation as it pertains to supporting our athletes through a variety of different areas. We are assessing the impact of sweet sweat on sweat rate. Sweet sweat is a topical that is applied to the skin. And um, sweet sweat often gets used as a proxy to promote sweating and sweat rates that will help athletes uh, cut weight and reduce their whole body water to step on the scale. We collect data every fight week and throughout fight camp to understand how athletes respond to the different interventions that we induce with them. I rode a bike for 30 minutes. I laid on a bed twice for five minutes. Checked my weight before and after, and had a good time doing it. If I have like a full three months, 12 weeks, I start about 158. If I'm leaving fight week, I want to leave around 151, 152. So I'll diet just eating really, really clean, um, six or seven pounds. And then Thursday night, the fun night, um, I weigh probably about 148. That's when it, that's when the fun starts. You get the sweet sweat on. Have the boys lather me up and cut the last um, like three pounds or so. Fighters have used sweet sweat for years to support their weight cuts. We're looking to assess the impact of sweet sweat on the sweat rate and some of the different physiological mechanisms that, that the body might um, undergo during that process. So with sweat, we're trying to understand how application of sweet sweat on your body change your physiological characteristics. Our sports science department is critical. They work across all of the different facets of our operation, um, providing support and education and guidance around data, technology, um, and strategies related to training science and the management of health and well-being. We will do a bike exercise, which is about 30 minutes a pretty moderate intensity short, all right? Not busting your tail or anything. But ultimately what we're trying to do is look at how your body sweats with exercise. Right, sweet, thanks. All right. He did 30 minutes exercise on the bike, keeping harsh rate in a particular zone. We measure different physiological characteristics, like his hydration status, his resting heart rate, his uh, state of cardiovascular system, nervous system. I had probably close to 40 fights now. So I don't remember when I really got introduced to sweet sweat. I, it literally made weight cutting probably twice as easy. So knowing I have the sweet sweat, just putting it on, it, there's, a, there's a little bit of relief there. It's like, okay, at least I know I'm going to start sweating sooner and a lot more than if I didn't have it. Yeah, you can take a shower. Okay. After 30 minutes on what bike can sweet sweat facilitate and speed up sweating process without increasing physiological cost or cannot? That's the research question what we have. And uh, here, as you see, it was quite significant load for Sean. <laughs> as you see, a lot of like red numbers we see here and um, resting heart rate has been increased on 20 bits per minute. Oh, wow. 158.5. Yeah. Not too bad. So your weight before was 161.8 pounds. Yep. And now we got 158.5. So it's a 3.3 uh, pounds difference. How do you feel about that? I, I like that, especially if I'm cutting weight. Yeah. I like to hear that. So. So basically we create knowledge, we deliver this knowledge, and we distribute this knowledge for everybody who is involved in our community. Not just on a, a local scale, but on a larger scale globally. I think at this moment in time, obviously we, we, we're really trying to aggregate all the information and insights around these different exposures and these different modalities and how it affects the body. But yeah, some really interesting early findings
findings and um, you know we're very excited about what this research will potentially show us in the future. We're always looking different tools, different technologies, innovations that's gonna help us to make this process of athlete preparation more effective. My goal is to remove all possible limitations and provide better conditions for the athletes for excellent performance on a particular date. So this is my ultimate goal. If I will have a very clear answer to that question, how to you know eliminate, uh, remove all kind of possible limitations and help athletes to uh, shine on that particular day and excite, create excitement for fans, create excitement for the UFC and feeling happiness will be uh, my happiness as well. One thirty-five and a half, the official weight for Sean O'Malley.